What is it guys, Numerous here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 18 Pro Mode. And in today's episode, we simmed a game against um, <clears throat> Sunderland and our first proper game was against Barcelona. So we had to win this and you need to look at the uh, Champions League group. Galatasaray, Ajax, and um, Brighton were all drawing on five points each. So, because so, cause that means that um, Ajax got beaten by um, Barca. Actually, no. So, by, um, but, yeah, that. Ajax are drawing with Brighton with five points. Um, but they're above us, obviously, with the goal difference. And, um... And Galatasaray were one point behind us. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, pretty much it is probably the biggest game of the season. Um, we had to win this game, and I mean had to win this game um, to beat, um, to get through to the round of 16. And this was nerve-wracking as hell, man. This was awful. I... I, Barca smacked me 5-0 last time I played them so I was just like oh, please don't be another 5-0 I'm begging you well the start couldn't have gone any better as Salah retain, gets the ball plays it off the street plays it Davies plays it Chaplin plays it back to Davies who plays it to Mohamed Salah who uses his pace and dribbling skills crosses it in and where is he is he brown is he was he let's get busy scores a goal and makes it one nil and barcelona did not know what hit him one of the players well the one of the um the, the, I can't speak, the original um player an a original player who um was at this club before I joined is now um, scored a goal against Barcelona and literally I couldn't believe it five minutes in and we were one nil up and I was just like oh my god maybe it's fate maybe it's fate that we um, win against Barca Chaplin came really close there but Azpi um, um, blocked it and Tammy Abraham gets the ball here and um, he hasn't played that well in the Champions League, but plays a brilliant ball to Izzy Brown, saved by Ter Stegen, but it falls back to him. <laughs> so we were 2 0 up inside 15 minutes. What? And it was the same guy as Izzy Brown as well. He is having a brilliant game. Um, and yeah, it was just Barcelona. They were crumbling. Like, Izzy Brown was beating them. And, um, yeah, literally, like, how was this happening? I was like, what? No way. This is, we could actually get through to the Champions League quarterfinals unless Ajax would beat him, Galatasaray, and, um, sadly, I didn't turn on the goal news, but Leonard didn't really have much to do, um, <clears throat> in the second half um talisa can comes really close here um brilliant passing from boston that's how good they were at passing they are so good at passing in this game seriously and uh, moses plays the ball to mohammed salah he gets it to davis and does brilliantly to place it to mohammed salah and connor chaplin nearly scores one of the best goals of the series an acrobatic like overhead kick and he nearly scores it to make it 3-0 against Barca. That would have been incredible. My halftime score was 1-1. Um, one, one, and uh, really happy with the uh, result. <clears throat> really happy with the result. Well, the scoreline at that point in time. 2-0. But I was just like, no, this this isn't true. And I knew Barca were going to hit straight away. Usman Dembele coming close. There's so much quality on the team. And... Um, Royce comes on as a wow, they have got quality. So Lisa, look at this passing from Barca and Lennon had to make a good save. But seriously, there is something. Um I won't show you it now, but <clears throat> um Loftus Cheat doesn't do well down. Royce tackles and um brilliant save from Lennon. Lennon, in my opinion, was having a great um game at that point in time. But then Messi came on and changed the game. 
can he change the game? Well, um, Barcelona kept crossing it in, and we literally had no chance. It was just Barcelona dominating us. And uh, Leno coming close there. But this is something which I don't think Leno would like to see. Jordi Alba passes it in. Leno catches it. But EA, EA, if you're watching this, so basically, I press square. I press square to clear it. And for some reason, I was walking back. I, I wasn't, I was trying to click it, um, smash it away. And I didn't press Y, I didn't press Y at all. Like, I definitely pressed square, remember, pressing square. And EA might have knocked me out of the Champions League. And Akali plays it to Goretto, crosses it in, and Messi, oh my word, well, Messi nearly handballs it into the goal. And well, okay, this is definitely my fault. I just pass it to Messi. Plays it to Icardi, he put, and Cessnyol keeps it on for some reason, and as Piliqueta scores, and Leno loses us the game. Leno, the player who's been our best signing of the season, well, really our only one apart from Keita, loses us the game, and I just, I just, I didn't want to go into the Europa League, I was having such fun at the Champions League, you know. The Champions League was what I wanted to do, you know. The Champions League is the Champions League. It's the best. It's the best tournament in the world. And well, seeing us lose that, it was heartbreaking. And then Leno knew he went crying off the pitch, and everyone was. I was disappointed. And, you know, Leno had to just walk off the pitch as quickly as he could. To not get abuse because he he was crying he was crying so much and EA you screwed me over um I actually think I actually did win that game though so it wouldn't have made a difference but oh well but Europa League is the t is the um games that we're playing now <sighs> and I I was just upset though I was really sad I didn't want to play in the Euros League. I think it's too many games. Like that's that's the thing. This is when the it's gonna get tiring when um we actually play the um proper games in the Europa League. But almost an upwards I'm guessing. I was gutted about that but maybe I should have fielded a better side. Playing Hendrix or someone like that. And I dunno. <clears throat> But anyway, Izzy Brown gets a start in this game as um, Abraham was injured and I put Niang um, up front because, um, you know, he got, because um, Abraham was injured and Izzy Brown scored two goals against Barca. So I was just like, all right, sure, you can play. <laughs> Who wouldn't want Izzy Brown to play? He's on form right now. And um, yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, Swansea are a decent side. Um, you know, uh, Max Hendricks is... Someone, um, I don't know why I said someone. Uh, Max Hendricks, um, carrying the team now. He's the only proper striker on the pitch. Um, maybe I could have played a different formation, but I chose to play Izzy Brown because, um, you know, Izzy Brown's a um, really good player. Um, and he's decent, um, and he's in form at the moment. But Ferenzi plays really well here and um, passes the ball to Mohamed Salah, and no one's going to catch Mohamed Salah. And then he just cuts inside and finesses it into the top corner. Well, instant reply. We might be upset that we're out in the Champions League, but he doesn't really care. We're definitely going for the title now. Title 100% and maybe win the Europa League. Because um, look at that pace from Mohamed Salah and Florenzi. Florenzi and Mohamed Salah both did really well um, just then. Um, and yeah, finishes it in the top corner. Maybe the goalkeeper could have done much better I think he could have anyway <clears throat> and Mohamed Salah gets his how many goals he scored he scored against Arsenal five league goals that's decent um and um yeah Nian crossed it in though um and Mohamed Salah um has a brilliant touch and does a cross turn and then crosses it in with his left and Izzy Brown coming really close there nearly gets his second goal and that he get, nearly gets his third goal in two games um, but Rui Pedro crosses it in, 
and it falls to Klukas, but um, it goes over the bar. And half time was beckoning, and it was pretty much half time. And look at that! If you saw in the top corner, Rocky Mesa and um, Barkley both had a hundred percent pass, and so you know. And I don't know why Mohamed Salah looked that sad. Probably because he thought about the Champions League, league and he was just like, "Come on, man! I don't deserve. To, I don't deserve to play in the Europa League." But um, look at that! Did you? Did you see that by Stones? Normally I put in something that was, um, you know, a penalty, to, um, could have been a penalty to that, but John Stones just push it, pushes um, Swansea, um, um, Boney, um, just over right there. But Leno um, makes a good save there, and Nian gets the ball here, crosses it and passes it to Mohamed Salah, who crosses it in to Izzy Brown, but he misses again. So, um, yeah, talking about Leno, he really needed to perform in this game. Having an awful game, and Leno had to prove himself this season. Now he he must get the most clean sheets in the Prem, in my opinion. And if he doesn't, I'll be very pissed off. Um, Wilfred Bonny though gets the ball, looks to cross it in, and it falls to a really Pedro, but misses a really good chance. And um, yeah, that chance was really really close. But Nian crosses it in, it falls to Moses, who um, goes for something that Conor Chaplin went um, against Barcelona, you know, sort of acrobatic, not bicey, but, you know, scissor kick, scissor kick, I'm not too sure. But I take off Hendrik to cook, um, the player who I was talking about last episode, and um, Conor Chaplin gets the ball from Naby Keita, Conor Chaplin playing well, the super sub does it again and makes it 2-0. So yeah, playing against, um, actually played against um, Barcelona, and um, did pretty well. Oh god, nearly fell over then. Um, did pretty well, um, and obviously he's he's just always been a prolific goal scorer. And um, I would never re replace him. Probably won't ever start him unless someone gets injured. But um, yeah, <coughs> um, Connor Chaplin. Um, scores a goal, gets the second goal of the Premier League season, and yeah, um, but Swansea had um, a last-minute chance, it fell to Bento, but um, Tunisabi blocks it, and it is the end of the game. So the final score was 2-0 to Brighton and Hove Albion, and Conor Chaplin was actually the first player to ever score for Brighton, if you didn't know, so that's why I love him so much, you know. Um, and he's a decent player, he's a great youngster. I do think I sort of copied Docs by um, signing him. But oh well. But um, isn't Brown the man in form had his contract up? So I was, um, was going to do his contract um, right there. <clears throat> um, delegate? No, it's not delegate. Wait, did I go for delegate? Or did I go for... I went for the actual contract negotiations. Um, so yeah, Izzy Brown, um, really in good form right now, scoring two goals against Barca, so obviously he would. Um, and he's still pretty young, 23 years old, um, nearly getting into his prime. Um, and we chose, we got a rotation squad role, which is good for your contract, which I was like, yep. Yeah. And he's always been a part of that, you know, super sub squad. It was, um, or B team squad, it was like, you know, Chaplin, Real Hero, Traore, uh, Izzy Brown, uh, Loa Loa, wow, Loa Loa, and, um, yeah, but, um, apparently the wages that he's currently on is insulting, so yeah, I don't really understand that, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy, please do subscribe and leave a like. Follow my Twitter and I'm underscore two. Hope you had an awesome, awesome day and I will see you later. Goodbye.